Taurus, my fellow Taurians, welcome. We're going to do a general read for you for the start of 2022. I haven't had internet access for the last four days, so my apologies on getting this out late. Um, that said, we're going to do your current energy, desire, outcome, what's working for you, what you need to be aware of. We'll clarify. And cards are flying out everywhere, that's interesting. Um, we'll clarify that, and then we'll pull three more cards around the end of the read just to make sure we have everything on the table for you. We have the Seven of Wands trying to jump out. Uh, this could be you trying to remain centered, uh, but let's have a look and see what's going on in your current energy. For Taurus, current energy... All right, this is kind of weird. Nothing's jumping out now. They're not going together, but they're not jumping out. Let's come out. Let's see. Taurus, current energy, please. We hope you all had a wonderful holiday season. But let's see. Current energy, king of swords. Uh, getting out of the heart, into the head. Uh, the desire, though, is for something to be over. Eight of Wands is the outcome. Some type of news could be... Who knows? The Chariot shows up as what is working for you. And what you need to be aware of is the Four of Pentacles. So let's go into this and start to see what this is about. Wow. So with the King of Swords here, this is an individual that is very careful um, or analytical. This could be higher education for some of you, but we see that with the Six of Pentacles, the Page of Cups, and Ace of Pentacles, there is some reciprocity that you're looking for uh, within a relationship. You are hoping that somebody uh, is putting forward a new offer. This could be you putting forward that offer, uh, and it's kind of like a limited time only. It's like, you know what? I'm going to make an olive branch and I'm going to put this forward and if you take a hold of it, great. If you don't, things are over. We see with the Ten of Swords, things might be over in your head. Uh, but we have the Sun, the Page of Pentacles, and the Two of Cups. So the Sun is kind of like, you know, everything's okay. Underneath this, everything's okay. Um, the Page of Pentacles talks about learning and of course the Two of Cups is a significant connection. So everything's okay within this connection, um, even though you kind of want it just to be over or it's over in your head. Now, the Eight of Wands, we have Justice, the Fool, and the Ten of Cups. This feels like, for some of you, there is communication coming in very quickly, uh, and it's trying to balance out a new start with a significant connection with the Ten of Cups here. This could be that you have felt that this is over, you've learned to let this go, and they feel that. So all of a sudden they come forward trying to balance the scale in order to start new with what's going on. Now, we have the chariot and the chariot talks about direction, it talks about things coming in quickly, but it also strength. We have the Empress, which is your card, and we have the Five of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles. So maybe for some of you, there's been headaches and whatnot with a particular individual, and you kind of want to just go back into being this person of worth or hoping that they see this and nurturing sort of yourself. For others of you, this is like... <sighs> the Empress could be a marriage connection, but the headaches you've endured, it may not be seen as, you know, this is somebody that's actually going to come forward with this Queen of Pentacles energy being very stable. Now, it seems what you need to be aware of is this Four of Pentacles, holding on to things, protecting yourself, and we have the King of Pentacles, the Devil, and the Queen of Cups. So it's like, you know what, when shit hits the fan, you kind of knuckle up, you go back into this Knight of Pentacles energy, and you just stay the course. This seems like this is sort of your mode of operation, 
even though you care for things a lot. Uh, it could be a connection or lover that just somebody you care about a lot. Now the interesting thing is we have the Ten of Pentacles, the High Priestess, and the Ten of Wands showing up as the last three cards. You know what you need to do with this Ten of Pentacles. You know how to get there. The High Priestess, there's a lot of intuition involved. And you know it's going to take work. And it doesn't seem that it scares you. It seems that the Ten of Pentacles... Um, you're trying to figure out how to move on and get get through it and get to it. Now, we have 10, 10, and 10 showing up for you. Um, very interesting that we have the three tens on the board. Um, but that is what I have for you today, Taurus. Best of luck this week. Feel free to give this a thumbs up, thumbs down, or subscribe if you haven't done so already. But we will see you next time. Have yourself a wonderful new year, and let's make this the best year possible. Stay safe.